I'm gonna come at you with a knife, homeboy. See how this goes down. Can you- Oh, of course, why- why did I think anything but that would happen? What is going on guys? Ryan here playing Subnautica. Today we're just gonna be messing around once more because there were just so many requests for it in the comment section and because we're not gonna be able to do this stuff in the survival series because I'm a simple survivalist. I don't have the power to spawn things in. So here I just put a sea treader on the islands by him because it's like I- it, if it's the one creature that I can walk around, you know, it's got legs. Clearly it would probably- it would probably suffocate up here, but um... It would just look, I don't know what their plans are for these islands, for these land creatures, if there are any, but this kind of thing would just be so freaking epic to walk up to on land. Especially if it was slightly vicious and then all these like, well no, I guess these were explained in the PDA. These people were the ones who moved down to the jelly shroom biome and that's why these are abandoned. But, I don't know man, before when I thought people were killed here, and uh, if I would have thought this did it, that would be terrifying. So, um, today I'm just going to, now that Subnautica has so many freaking creatures available, I'm going to spawn in a good amount of them and have them fight to the death, because a lot of them we're not going to really see in the survival series, because they take place in very far away biomes, and, um, well again, I can't spawn shit in, I don't have the power. Look how cool that is, you dive in the water now, it's so freaking funny. So here we are at this little base I just constructed. I, um, I did not close it up completely with the terraformer because well this right here took a half hour my feet you know when your feet get all jittery and you get all restless leg syndrome because you need to move that kept happening to me so I just <laughs> instead I just made it so it's like a giant fish cage like a giant I guess a lobster cage because even though a lot of things can swim out of here there's a few I want to maintain in the area like the uh, the reef back now his ass shouldn't be able to go anywhere kind of cruel what's going on here right now if you don't approve of animal torture in the sense of, um, I don't know, gaming aliens. There, if you, but if you have no, if you have no discrepancies about it, we're about to go down. One thing, eh, I'll, I'll worry about this later. See, look at that, it worked out perfectly. Oh man, that just makes me so happy. His ass can't go anywhere. If he does go through anywhere, it's simply a glitch. I can't help if there's a hole in the wall, but, um, I'm pretty sure that his ass is stuck in here for good. See, this is what I was going for. Yeah, that's awesome. Besides, I'm not sure if Subnautica fixed it, but I remember like, I feel like a, a year ago, almost a year ago, I um, I was making videos where I would just close off this entire area in the islands by him, and I would just spawn in things here and make just crazy fish tank battles. Like, kind of like what I'm doing now. But there's just so many more f there's creatures available. But um, when you do close it up completely, the game crashes a lot. When there's that much terraformer soil placed. I don't know if the, the, it does now, but that, that's... It sucks ass. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Let's just go ahead and get two of them in here. I underestimated the size of this place. He's got plenty of room over here and he's got room. This is actually pretty cool. This we could actually manage to make in the, um, oh my god, in the survival series. Imagine making a giant cage like this in the reef back by him and then kind of pushing them in there with your cyclops, closing it up behind them and then just making a giant tunnel all the way to where your base is where eventually you would have a giant cage reef back. I feel like that that would take like three episodes. No, that would just be a really long episode. But holy shit, would that be worth it? Did he just squeeze out of here? Oh, you cheeky bastard! He backflipped through it. Did anybody see that? Did, what that? See that's that's what I meant with glitching. He backflipped into the wall. All this effort for nothing. All right, now one thing, we're just gonna have Papa Smurf over here. That's the name of the sea moth. We're gonna keep him just nice and close because I can't disable damage because then they won't take damage and um and and that's actually I should turn it off for now until I have them all set and spawned. Dude, that's sick. Look at the scanner room. Lithium? Are you telling me this is a lithium? Oh my god, it's scanning for lithium. That's this this is quickly becoming my favorite thing ever. Okay, so we're gonna go attempt to see what's going on out here with the cameras. This camera's glitched into the floor. That could not have worked out better. See, sometimes the glitching helps. They're playing with one right there. Now here I just spawned in a few spinels and stalkers to see how these guys, you know, break into it slowly. It looks like... Holy shit! Look, it's showing us where all the lithium is. Oh my god, this is the most useful thing ever. Oh, oh, it's so hard not to get distracted over this right now. Even if we are being eaten by a stalker. Dick. Dude, just, just let us go. Freedom! We've gotten freedom! I should have made these holes smaller. I'm, I'm a little ecstatic right now over all this lithium exposure. I didn't realize this was like gonna be a thing right now. And now it is. And how did all you die? Clearly I missed something. Look at that freeze frame right there. Just the inside of a stalker. 
Oh my god, and is that us? Are these blue dots? Is that lithium? And then this red dot would be... Oh my god, this is too cool right now. Cancel, is there anything else I could scan for? Or is this just because there's mostly, mo mostly lithium around here? I would assume that's all we have, but... Still, that's such an advancement. What the hell? Alright, what's going on down here? Back to the task at hand. It looks like all the spinels left. Except that guy, he's dead. Of course, the stalkers just love playing with the cameras. They're just playful little guys. They don't mean any harm. But I do mean to harm them. Get away from my stuff. Actually, backfire. I might lose this camera right now. Look at this genius plan right here. Park my Seamoth right there, so then when I peek my head up here and spawn a Reaper, he doesn't eat my shit. Shit, he already got my CV. We whistled right through that thing. He did not waste a second. Okay, that was gruesome. I didn't necessarily see that coming. Alright, now we got some Reaper Leviathans and Warpers in here. I wanted to see if, um, if he would warp us somewhere funny into the island. But now, everything's kind of gone to crap. Now, the Reapers have broken free. See, they're not naturally... They don't naturally hate each other like before. Before, they were all just eating each other on the spot. That was crazy. Like, that Reaper Leviathan was hungry-ish. Oh, there they go. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. I know I have oxygen disabled, but still, it's like a crazy thing that I've managed to survive this long. It's kind of nuts. It's all because of these walls, man. They're saving my life. This, this spine eel is a douchebag, though. Dude, look at the Reaper just cleaning up all the stalkers right now. They are just... And look, it, the second he bites them, they disappear, too. I know that happened last time, but I'm still kind of... It's still kind of new to me. That's never been a thing before. And now they just go around biomes cleaning up. They just... They're the cleanup crew. They actually remove and clean out creatures. Ooh! They almost got me right there. Then the Spinals came to the rescue. I want to see if these Spinals can take down a Reaper. Don't focus on me, gentlemen. Damn it. Stop it. Get the Reaper. He's so much more meat. I'm such a weak petite meal down here. Oh, man. I wish the exosuit was in action right now. I would so be in that. Dude, it's going down down there. I just want to witness. But I can't. They took my sea bomb so far. Damn teenagers. Damn it. Even worse, damn. Okay. You know what? That's what these are for. We have no more cameras. Wait. We have a camera. What the hell is this? We're on the sand. Hang on, I can figure this out. Okay. So that's the water. That's where we need to be. You have no movement. But, oh, 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 look at that. If you scroll forward, you roll. Oh my god. This is hilarious. We're getting in the water. Oh my god, it worked. We just like egg rolled into there. And we're good. Holy shit. I feel like a genius right now. It appears as though the Reaper Leviathans are killing everything. Like a newsflash, right? <laughs> we didn't have to spawn things in to figure that out. That was kind of common sense. How did this reef back manage to get through the wall? I do not know. But it looks like he's trying to get back in before I notice that he gets in trouble. I bet it's the best thing I could think of. Alright, well now we have a slightly more diverse ecosystem going on here. I wanted to see what these sea treaders would do when, when spawn down here. It appears they're all just trying to climb out. It's kind of sad. They're like stuck in a cage. Ooh, except for these guys. What the hell's going on down here? Oh, they're straight up fighting reapers. That is crazy. Look at them kicking. Damn it, I want to watch. Dude, these warpers aren't going to let me watch it either. They're going to keep throwing crap at me, aren't they? I just I feel for the sea treaders right now. Just trying to break out of here. Just sea treader poop floating around freely. I like how the Reaper Leviathans are going. Okay, the Warpers are going for us. We're like directly in their food chain. But the Reapers... What the hell, man? Warper douchebag, you're gonna send us too far away. See, now if anybody breaks out, I just... Warpers, look, he's coming for me. They don't forgive, man, and they don't forget. This poor guy is just trying to break down the walls. Oh my god, that's such a distress call if I've ever heard it. See, that Reaper couldn't get to us right there. That's exactly why I built this. Perfect. Perfection right here. What the hell? <laughs> if I'm not, not as perfect as it could be, but... Dude, they're clearly trying to get to their set location. It's so sad. Come on, little warper. Fight or die. Okay, this is clearly a hole in the, in the floor that shouldn't be here. This is huge. Actually, what am I talking about? Just close it real quick. <laughs> Jesus. See, a warper you couldn't catch for the life of you. There'd be no way. I feel like... Yeah, that's just clearly, that's just clearly a no-brainer. That's not gonna happen. I'm a one-shot from Warpers, and I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna accept my fate. I'm gonna come at you with a knife, homeboy. See how this goes down. Can you 
Oh, of course. Why Why did I think anything but that would happen? Oh, that was so stupid of me. Nope, not gonna happen. Do you bleed? If it bleeds, it can die. They actually seem to be one-shots. Haha. These poor guys are still trying up here. You gotta feel for them. Right before you shoot them. Right? But luckily, everything in Subnautica is peaceful. Now, one of their turds just dropped down here. There it is. There we go. Yeah, yeah, sea treader poop. Now, someone said this is actually eggs, but I don't think that that might be eggs. I don't, I'm pretty sure that it's poop, but I mean, anything is possible in the world of Subnautica. Aha! See, this is how you get a close-up look at them, and then you just kind of saw them, and then they die right there. Right? That last one might actually have been a lot weaker. There we go. Oh, that's, this is, it's like killing an alien angel. I don't feel okay about this. I don't think in my survival series I'll ever kill any. Unless you're capable of dragging their bodies away, and then I might just to have them framed, but just one of them. Oh, 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 don't want to be in the open. Don't, oh, they're just trying to break out. Look at his foot drill. Trippy, like the soil's blasting away around it. The game thinks there's soil there. Oh, he's gonna kick me. Dude, these things are still, I don't know, man. I can't tell what's my favorite. Warpers or sea treaders? They're just, they're both amazing in their own way. And then things got interesting. These things are just terrifying. Definitely not my favorite. They're in my top, like, favorite scariest things, though, but I would not befriend them. If I find an egg, that little bastard's staying in the, in the aquarium for all of eternity. <laughs> I just do not trust it. I would let a sea treader baby walk around base, though. Alright, these things are hostile as hell. Can you kill a sea treader for that matter? Yeah, he bleeds. I'm not gonna figure it out, though. I, I gain nothing from a dead sea treader. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy who kills one. I'll let some other YouTuber do it. Alright, camera is back online showing us where all the lithium is. That's the best thing ever. What is this? Oh, oh, hey -oh. Focus on the task at hand. <laughs> There's the creatures around you. That's cool they don't bother you if you're a little camera. Or do they? Or is he bothering me right now? Something is definitely trying to kill me. But still, we're like, no, I feel like we would directly be in his food chain. We're, we're primary size for that. Do the sea treaders mind us? What's going on, buddy? Or are you a dead one? He might be dead. Look at this trippy-ass sight. This is almost like a... This is almost a beautiful thing. I feel like they're all gravitationally levitating through some magical force. There's definitely a wizard nearby, or or the phoenix. But yeah, that, that, that chick who kills her boyfriend in X-Men. <laughs> this is terrible. Terrible description right there. So this is what Subnautica Hell probably looks like, I would imagine. So many mouths. These Reapers don't even know who to eat first. I kind of don't even mind Reaper Leviathans anymore. I see their purpose now in the ecosystem. They're just the cleanup crew. They're very necessary. You know what this party needs? Some Warpers. And me. I need to be there as well. Wait for me! Holy shit! <laughs> this is a beautiful thing. Is that a corpse that just flew out of the water? Is he trying to crawl back in? This guy's actually not... Oh, genius! I totally forgot that he could just do that. This is what I imagine a Subnautica pool party would be like. This is like exactly what I would imagine. When you go into water, it's just crazy. Everyone's hooking up and chugging beers underwater. I don't even know how. I don't think that's what's happening here, though. It's quite the opposite. These reefbacks... I was gonna say, I just feel worse for the reefbacks, but his ass just got teleported out of here. He's fine. This cage is a lot bigger than I gave him credit for. See, I'm gonna regret getting all these lava lizards in here, because they're gonna kill me, and they're gonna kill everything. They're just... These guys are the ultimate. They're like, oh my god, they're the freaking hyenas of Subnautica. It's ridiculous. Okay, so now I want to put- Ah! Now I want to put something in there to, um, to even it out more in my favor. Or in favor of everything that isn't a lava lizard. Look at that! We'll just spawn in a bunch of lava larvae, and then all their children are on the line! Actually, he looks like he's eating his kids. These guys might be brutal. They might not give a shit. But where are the lava larvae going? I'm like, I'd like to see where their programs go to. Where's their natural- Do they- do they stick to the walls? Do they swim around? They look like Caterpies. I love these things. I remember messing with them so freaking long ago. Oh my god, like so long ago. When I go back and watch those videos, my voice is like one third as deep because talking for hours a day for like a year really deepens your voice. It's nuts. 
You guys should hear me speak when they don't have a jug of water by my side. It sounds, it sounds, I sound like the Crypt Keeper. So this is, I say I can't even look down in here now anymore because, um, because I get eaten. Oh, that's a dead crab squid. See, the lava larvae are just, Jesus Christ, they're brutal. They're like, these are the kind of things that would overeat till they die. They have no limit. Even now they're jumping at me. I'm not even in the damn water. Get out of here. They left me no choice. I'd rather Reaper Leviathans run this than um than lava lava lizards. So we have like a, we have an outstanding long-term relationship with Reaper Leviathans. These guys have disappeared from the game for a long time and now they're back. I have abandonment issues. I would rather them just be eaten. Oh my god, there's still one sea trader left just trying to get out of here. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't do anything. I can't even look around in here for God's sakes. I'm just gonna just dance around the sea treader. Oh, but then he's gonna die. Oh my God, dude! These lava lizards are freaking out of control. This is actually ridiculous. We're going back into the camera. It's all we can do. Oh my God, the spine eels have just been exterminated. This is just a sad sight right here. The sea treader never did anything to anybody. Oh my god, that is what a dead sea treader looks like, right? Look at the freaking monsters just looking for more food. Oh, 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 oh. Something did not like us right there. No, look at the sea treader though. That's so... S oh, and he's getting warped. You can't even float dead peacefully. He's still getting messed with. These warpers have no respect. <gasps> Dude, these lava lizards are so much bigger than the warpers. They could just... One lava lizard could kill a warper. Look at that. They are relentless. Oh my god, the pack came out of nowhere. And he's dead. Yeah, that's that's that is why I'm now terrified of lava lizards. I could watch this stuff forever. Like I'm so in love with the creatures in this game. I could just watch them just be their natural selves floating around just being horrible monsters to each other for a long time. Look at this guy. These guys were so tough. Now, now you're nothing. You're just what has grabbed us? Something keeps grabbing us, dude. What is this? This makes me sad. This little hole keeps clenching open and closed. I feel like that's its lungs or something. Like it's just, it's panicking. It's just panicking in its last moments of its life. I wish there was better audio on those cameras. I'm not gonna lie, but I understand the point of those is not to hear freaking monster battles going on. I swear to God, if we get chased by freaking lava lizards, right, we get in here. We already have a pack of them on us. Dude, these things are crazy. The reapers have failed. They have failed in their job. It could be worse, you could be this guy. He clearly, he's definitely in the most pain here. Indubitably. All right, so that's, I guess that's the final conclusion right there. Everything in here kicks moderate amounts of ass and then these guys are just the overgrown piranha of Subnautica. Like they're, they're bigger than most creatures, they're more fierce than almost everything. And they're agile and small, not like the Reaper Leviathan you can't turn around for the life of him. Jesus. See, this would have been the answer to our problems right here, but the exosuit is not at its sexiest moment yet, unfortunately. It'll get there one day, man, and then we'll get safe observation. Safer. Safe-ish. Moment it will die a little sooner. Later. This is like a regular thing for me. I'm ending all my videos just being destroyed by allergies. It's just a rough time of the year. But yeah, I think, um, I think we're done here. I think we've discovered that they're all beautiful and awesome. Sea treaders are just peaceful and want to get out of here. They'll kick you if you're in their way, but they just want to live their life. And lava lizards are the virus that's going to destroy everything. This is a good conclusion. I can live with it. So, um, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the Subnautica Survival Series. Peace!